Why do you think we're seeing this reaction in Chinese equities, the positivity uh, as opposed to some other parts of Asian markets? Well, I guess perhaps they're, they're taking a message from the fact that the trade talks are still going to go ahead Naira, later Friday. You might interpret that as a positive signal. There may also be other forces at, at work um, in the market itself. You know, it's not in the past during times of stress in the markets, the uh, Chinese authorities have intervened. Uh, I don't know if that has happened yet, but there are um, a number of variables that could be supporting the stock market. But I think the, take, the overall takeaway from today has still got to be one of a pretty negative hit for China, both its economy and markets, and indeed globally, uh, because it, by all accounts, it appears as though the trade truce that had held since that G20 summit uh, at the end of November, beginning of December, is now over. The US has hiked tariffs again, and China is threatening retaliatory action. And on that retaliatory action, and uh, I mean, we're locked and loaded. We're waiting with bated breath to see what's going to happen. What kind of developments are you expecting today and through the weekend? Could we see a breakdown in talks? Yeah, well, that's the critical thing to watch out for Neira. I mean, it's a bit unusual in the sense that China sent their top economic czar to Washington, one would assume with a material offer to make to the US, but clearly that wasn't enough to stop the hikes going up. And now we are in a situation where despite a tariff hike, the talks will continue later Friday. So the critical thing will be to see whether or not the talks remain on track and they remain on course for a negotiation towards some kind of a deal to be agreed at some point in the future, or if we have reached a point of rupture now. So the two critical things to watch for will be watch for will be the precise nature of how China retaliates whenever that does come, and secondly, the mood music coming out of those talks in Washington. Are they saying this is a bump in the road and we continue from here, or are they saying we've run into a pretty serious uh, roadblock? Yeah, so on, ooh, that's the retaliation side of things in terms of the tariffs or other non-tariff measures, Ender. But what about the response from China that we might expect in terms of stimulus? I mean, you talk about a bump in the road. With the way this is developing, will this just be a bump in the road uh, for China's economy that the stimulus we've already seen can deal with? Well, you're right. So we have had something of a narrative about stabilization in, <clears throat> in China's economy in recent months, helped really narrow by the domestic story, quite nuanced stimulus. It hasn't really been about an external uh, manufacturing or export-led recovery. This material development today could change that story. It will certainly put downward pressure on investment plans, certainly put downward pressure on sentiment towards China and its markets. And I think listening to economists this morning, most say now it's only a matter of time before we start getting back to more pronounced and intense stimulus on the fiscal and monetary side from the authority. So by all accounts, it certainly will be a hit to GDP growth, but it's not just a hit to growth, it's the second round effects that really has, is the unmeasurable or the unquantifiable aspect that will really have a big ricochet impact through China, through the region and through the world. So at the very least, the takeaway from today will be probably more pressure on China's authorities to keep things ticking over.